if I told you that these were small bowel biopsies here, 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 and here, you probably wouldn't believe me. You would say, Dr. Minarsik, this isn't small bowel at all. Everybody knows that small bowel has villus or papillary-like uh, projections along the mucosa. This mucosa is flat and has pits. This looks more like large bowel than small bowel. Why are you trying to fool me? Well, I can reassure you once again, this is small bowel, but the villi are gone. They are flattened. They are atrophic. Sure, you still have some glandular structures traveling internally within the mucosa, and you certainly have a good amount of chronic inflammation, but the villi are gone. Let me show you a diagram. The normal uh, villus pattern of the small bowel should look like this, in which you have both very well d differentiated villi as well as pits going deeper into the mucosa. With celiac disease, or also called sprue, uh, there is a villus atrophy. The villus portions of the glands are gone in more severe cases, but the pits remain. And uh, that's one of the classic, if not the most consistent feature of uh, celiac sprue which is caused by, uh, which is a genetic disease in which uh, there is a sensitivity to wheat, you know, causing these changes within the small bowel. Another thing that you should recognize is that even though the lamina propria is usually pretty rich in things like plasma cells and lymphocytes and macrophages, there is an increased amount of chronic inflammatory uh, infiltrate within the lamina propria. Uh, so this is a classical case of celiac sprue in which uh, the villi are basically gone. Thank you very much.